wanna feel after you and find you for you are not far away. you know watching a potter work on the wheel is so mesmerizing and when you couple that with God's word and God's heart it just connects with people. It just moves people in a really cool way. No matter what their age or their culture, it just works because it's not my story. It's, it's God's story. I like to tailor the potter's wheel to each event, but I usually cover two specific topics. The first one is the process. What I discovered in my own life was that the process of the potter shaping the clay, every step that he takes that clay through, that potters have been doing for probably thousands of years, um, correlates with the step that we each go through as God is molding and shaping us on his wheel. So I talk about uh, wedging, like getting the air pockets out of our lives, the little places where we're puffed up and, and centering, um, becoming brought and yielding to Christ so he can bring us to the center of his will for our lives. Just like clay needs to be brought to the center of the potter's wheel. An opening, potters call it piercing the heart of the clay because God wants to work inside of our lives and not just make the outside look all nice. Every step correlates with something that we go through as God is molding and shaping our lives. And it's the process, it's the journey that every one of us as his piece of clay, we're all on. And then the second thing I talk about is Jeremiah 18, where God spoke to Jeremiah and said, go down to the potter's house and I'm going to talk to you there. So Jeremiah said, I went down to the potter's house and behold, he wrought a work on the wheel and the vessel that he made of clay was marred in the potter's hand. And I love the fact that he doesn't stop there. He says, so he made it again, another vessel, as seemed good to the potter to make it. And then God began to speak to Jeremiah and he said, Behold, cannot I do the same thing with you? For as clay is in the potter's hands, so are you in my hands. You know, the world just tells us how to cope with being broken. But God, he's the potter. He's the healer. He brings restoration to our lives. And not only do I know that from my own personal experience, but it's all over God's word. And so that's the message that I've seen really bring a lot of healing to a lot of people over the years. I stand in awe of you, in awe of you, Jesus, humbled, healed, and held in awe. My whole desire in bringing this Potter's Wheel demonstration is to kind of spread a feast table for people so that whether it's through the music or the worship or the Potter's Wheel demonstration, that they can take something that God has spoken to them from that event and go home with their heart being fed. What I should have been despised.